Let's trace this exercise having to do with an array list. The first line of code declares and instantiates an array list named nums. It has a size of zero because it doesn't contain anything. It will eventually store integers and we now execute the for loop here which uh, uses the loop variable i starting at 1 rather than 0 and each time the loop iterates i gets added to the array list. So the, on the first loop iteration the array list has the number 1 because i is 1 and that 1 happens to be in index position 0. Then i plus pluses and the number 2 gets added on to the end of the array list. And then i plus pluses and a 3 gets added on to the end of the array list. Eventually eventually i ends up getting to the number 8 and at when i is 8 8 gets added in to position 7 and then i jumps up to 9 because of plus plus and since 9 is less than or equal to 10 the 9 does get added on to the end of the array list and then i reaches the value 10. 10 is indeed less than or equal to 10. So the number 10 gets added in to the array list. 10 goes into position 9. And then the loop does continue and i plus plus is to 11. At which point, because 11 less than or equal to 10 is false, the number 11 does not get added in to the array list. So this is the state of the array list. Whoops. This is the state of the array list when uh, this first for loop is finished iterating. Now we uh, proceed to execute the system out print statement and the output is whatever element or whatever value is in position 3. Now that value would be a 4. So a 4 prints out because of this syntax right here. Now let's execute the next for loop. Okay, this for loop uses i as well, a new copy of the local variable i is, is uh, created, and it's initialized to zero. And we check to see if i is less than nums.size. The size of this array list is 10 at the moment. And since uh, 0 is less than 10, we do go through the for loop. We analyze this if statement. If nums.getI mod 2 equals 0. Well, this is really checking to see if something is an even number or not. The something that we're checking is whatever's in nums.getI, whatever's in the i th position number i of nums. Well, i is currently 0, and there's a 1 currently stored in that position 0. So all of this is the same thing as simply asking, is 1 mod 2 equal to 0? When you have a small number modded by a big number, the answer always simplifies to that small number. 
So we're asking, is 1 equal to 0? And that's a false. To understand why a small number modded by a big number is always equal to a small number, just do the di long division. 1 divided by 2 leaves a remainder of 1. Okay, so uh, that if statement was false. Therefore, we do not remove anything at this time. And we go back up to the top of the for loop. And we i plus plus. i is now 1. We check to see if i is less than nums.size, and it is. So we execute the if statement again. Since i is currently 1, we are pulling out the number 2 to check to see if 2 mod 2 is equal to 0. Yes, it is. The remainder of 2 divided by 2 is 0. In other words, that 2 is an even number. So we do a nums.remove i. Because i is currently 1, we are removing whatever is in position 1, that same 2 that we just checked to see if it was even. So that 2 gets removed. And when you remove something in an array list, all the other values shift forward or to the, to the left, if you want to think of it that way. And because the 2 was removed, all of these values are no longer stored there. They're overwritten with these values. This position number 9 no longer exists because the 2 is removed. Because we just uh, executed that remove line of code, we now iterate back up to the top of the for loop, i++ plus plus is to 2. Is 2 less than nums.size? Make a note that the size of this array list is no longer 10. The size is 9, 0 through 8. This no longer exists. 0 through 8 yields a size of 9. And so therefore, uh, we do go through the loop again. If nums.getI mod 2, i is currently 2. So nums.get2 tells us to go to position 2 and pull out that 4. Is 4 mod 2 equal to 0? That's true. So we remove whatever's in position i. We are removing that 4. And at that moment of removal, everything else shifts forward. That 5 moves to, to location 2. That 6 goes from position 4 to position 3. The 7 moves forward. The 8 moves forward. The 9 moves forward. And the 10 moves forward. All of those values are overwritten now. And this position of the array list no longer exists because we've removed something. And we iterate back to the top of the for loop. i++ plus plus is to 3. We check to see if 3 is less than nums.size. Please be careful here. The size of the array list is constantly changing. And because we have nums.size typed into the for loop's control expression, we need to, to be careful here. OK, that is true at this time. So we do execute the if statement. And we're checking to see if get i, which is, uh, i is 3, so that means we're looking at that 6. We're asking this if 6 is an even number or not. It is, so it gets removed. And the 7 shifts forward, along with the 8, 9, and 10. OK, you should see the pattern by now. But let's keep going, because these problems sometimes have an index out of bounds error at the end, which causes the code to crash. And in my instructions, I'm telling you to explain any errors. i++ plus plus is to 4. And we do go through the loop again. And we're checking to see if 8 is evenly divisible by 2. And it is, so that 8 gets removed. And the 9 shifts forward, along with the 10. Position 6 is uh, no longer exists. i++ is to 5. 
we're now checking to see if, well, we better check this control expression. Is 5 less than nums.size? The size of the array list right now is 6. 0 through 5 yields 6 positions. So 5 is less than 6, and therefore we do go to the 10, and because it's even, it gets removed. There is nothing to shift forward at this point, which is fine. The array list doesn't uh, you know, need to shift things. Uh, position 5 is erased or removed from the array list. And the loop iterates again, and i++ plus plus is to 6, and then the loop checks to see if 6 is less than nums.size. Well, at this moment, nums.size is 5 and 6 less than 5 is false, and therefore we do not go through the loop again. So this loop does end gracefully. There is no error. And then the system out print nums statement causes the array list nums to be printed out neatly with a, a space in between each element. That's the way an array list prints. So we end up with a 1, a 3, a 5, a 7, and a 9. That's your answer uh, for this exercise, 13579. Do take note as we trace this carefully that each time we did a remove, everything shifted forward, and because odds and even numbers are evenly spaced out on the number line, and it was our goal to remove all even numbers, the odd numbers never got checked to see if they were even or not. These odd numbers, 5 and 7 and 9, they never were checked with the mod 2 double equals 0. Maybe the algorithm wanted to take advantage of that spacing of odds and evens on the number line. Maybe it was just a side effect and, uh, and maybe the programmer wasn't careful. You'll see on some later exercises on this worksheet that if you have a situation where you perhaps have two even numbers together, in an array list, and if you're using this algorithm with size in the control expression, or actually it's not the, that issue, it's I++. If you're doing an I++, and if you remove that 2, that 2 would move forward, and because I++ is, its next check would be to see if this position of the array list was even or not. And this 2 right here snuck in the back door, you could say, and ends up not being removed like the algorithm might uh, intend it to be removed. So be careful in these later exercises on this worksheet. Um, maybe we'll take a, a look at another exercise. This algorithm, it looks like it's filling up the array uh, an array list, rather, named list 1 with numbers 1 through 10, just as uh, exercise 1 above did. But it's removing the number and the occurrences of the number 3 rather than even numbers. In problem number 3, it looks like we're intending to remove occurrences of the number 3 and 4, again in an array list that's made up of the numbers 1 through 10. And in problem 4, we're also trying to remove occurrences of the numbers 3 and 4. What's different about three and exercises 3 and 4, you might wonder? Well, look at this right here. We have a local variable named size that's equal to the size of the array list. So that variable is being used in the for loops control expression that determines if we keep iterating or not, if i is less than size, if i is less than size, true or false. Down here, like we did on exercises 1 and 2, we don't use a local variable. Rather, we use the, the code list.size, which is very different in, than using a local variable. Uh, you'll see if you do exercises 3 and 4 carefully, you'll see that um, there are some uh, different results. That's all I'm saying. Good luck.